Good morning, guys. It is time to start the morning. Listening to some music. I think you might be able to hear it a little bit. I'm not sure. I love to blast music when I'm getting ready in the morning, so you'll probably hear that a lot in the mornings. <laughs> okay, so today, gonna go, gonna go get some food. I haven't eaten anything and I'm really hungry, and it's 11.30, and I need food. And me and my mom are gonna go watch the anniversary showing of Gone with the Wind at the theater, so that'll be fun. Oh, well imagine as I'm pacing the pews in the church corridor And I can't help but to hear, no I can't help but to hear an exchanging of words What a beautiful wedding, what a beautiful wedding Says a bridesmaid to what a shame, what a shame the poor groom's bride is a whore Okay, it's time to go have some fun I'm all ready to get out of her and by her, I mean here, obviously. We'll all definitely come to realize that I am the biggest weirdo ever, so I will probably say and do the most random things sometimes. I also like to make really dumb faces, so you'll probably see a lot of those. My visa. She loves the states, but the states are super expensive. And people, you know. Compared to what they're used to. Yeah. Well, yeah. But I mean, even her, they had money, but they still live pretty modestly for their station, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, but she wants to retire in India. Once, once you know, the kid is, gets, is older and he's like college and doing his thing, whatever it is he's doing, she wants to go back and retire in India and she wants to take care of her grandkids and sit around and get fat and not do anything. <laughs> That's what she said. She's like, I just want to take care of my, you know, my grandkids and sit around and, you know, just retire in India and in her house in Japur. Which, although, I guess if you're consider, you're um, comparing Japur to some of the other places, Japur is supposed to be and it is a state or in certain areas that have a little bit more money than some of the other areas because um, the the region is just, I think, a little bit richer. And um, that's where a lot of the really old, like, um, buildings and structures and things are that are, like, 2,000 plus years old. Yeah. You know, some of that stuff is, is, a lot of that stuff is there. And plus, I taught, she told me something interesting. Her grandfather and m grandmother um, recently sold, well, they, they, they had passed away not long ago, and they sold their house their property, their, their estate was worth like $4 million American. So they did have money. Um, but Jeez. their house was so, I mean, it was, it was really nice, big because they have like a number of servants and people there, but she was not educated where he kind of was. There's like a 10 year difference. Her grandmother married her grandfather when she was 10 and he was like 18. So it was, it was so funny though, because he was like a little kid. He would go to college or whatever. And he would like be like, Bye bye, you know, and go to school, go to college, or whatever. And she would just stay home and play, you know. She would do stuff, and, and they would send her out to play because she she only had education up to so much. And in those days, right. they didn't bother so, educating the girls. The girls, it wasn't important to educate them. Well, they they have, did they live with. They probably lived with his family right. for a while, but when they got older, Until they, yeah, she was old enough to do and, stuff and run, her own, her, run her own run her own household. Her own house, yeah. I mean, <laughs> being uneducated, she ran a huge house household. But in those days, and and this is mind you, like the twenties or whatever. Yeah, there was a lot of I mean, still very Indian or uh, Amer uh, English rule and stuff. So, but but some of them seem to mind the English rule because she still likes like my boss loves. British things, movies and things, you know, um, but they like hosted, um, um, prime ministers and Indian, like really famous Indian movie stars and real famous people in their home That's cool. when she was growing up, you know, and doing you know, all this stuff. So when, 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 when her grandmother was 
was young, and then when her, obviously, they had four children, so when her mother was growing up, they experienced this stuff of having, like, you know, people in high-ranking places in India, you know, right. being entertained at their house, and movie stars, and, and different stuff. Well, so. The movie star part would be cool anyway. Yeah. Well, because oh. my belt likes to trip with me. Well, <laughs> understand <laughs> some people's like addictions to certain things like that i don't know because why they're not know. they're not that great i mean well, at the time they were other, I, than, other than boys to men they were the only boy bo group that you know i've never attracted a ton of girls at one time i've never heard any of their old stuff the only thing i really heard was a I think it was called Summertime or something when they did like a yeah, comeback CD that's... or a couple comeback songs or whatever yeah. a few years ago. That was the only thing they on the internet. Well, okay, so I didn't they mind Summertime. I didn't mind that song, but I never really heard any of the other songs. But to me, it was just like, now they're making a cheesy comeback. Great. Okay. Right on that 98 degrees. I don't think they were out the exact same time. I think they came out a little bit later. My timeline on that is probably off. I wasn't super into 98 Degrees, except for I thought Nick was the cutest. Still stand. I don't um, I don't know, know what any of them look like. Nick, uh, the one that was married to Jessica Simpson. Oh, Nick Lachey? Nick Lachey. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't know. He is a hottie. Yeah, he is hot. He but is still super hot. I mean, he didn't look like hardly any different than when he was, you know, early teens or late teens early 20s you well know? and the only one i know and out of with uh, what's her face is super uh, super cute i don't know the only one that i know out of new kids on the block is donnie Wahlberg, anyway and that's only from watching blue bloods <laughs> I, I i didn't know him from that i knew him from blue bloods that's because so. your age is not the same you know well not and that's also age. because i don't typically listen to boy bands Anyway, even Dude, now. do not know how to park. Wow. You're like five feet yeah. out in the drive. <laughs> Idiot. All these people can't be here for Gone with the Wind. Come on. It's one o'clock in the afternoon. Go do something else with your lives, people. And leave us to watch the movie. It better not be super full the like movie theater. Because I really want a good seat to see my Scarlett O'Hara and Rhett Butler. It's gotta happen. I'm so excited. You're such a weirdo. <laughs> really need to do your hair. I'm aware. It looks like I have gray hair growing in. I know. It's terrible. It's it's That's weird. Why I told you, you need to shave it like the mom on Parenthood, but you don't have cancer. But you need to shave it so it all grows in your original pretty blonde. That's you know how long it would take for it to grow back even remotely close to the length that is okay. right now? If you have the right of way, then you turn. And my belt keeps wanting to choke me. It seems to do that to you a lot. I don't think my van likes you. It really doesn't. It's like, die, Cassie, die. Just die already. I'm trying Just to die. You sound like Nicolas Cage. <laughs> Just <laughs> die already. <laughs> I'm trying to choke you, but it's not working. 15 minute parking. Okay guys, well, the day is over. I'm gonna go edit and then I'm gonna go to bed. Peace out.